Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Monday on FIFA 23. We are expecting and hoping for some sort of upgrade packs today. Today could really change everything on this game if EA Sports want to turn around and do a complete 180 on the SBC content quality that we have had recently. Yesterday, another quiet day of content. Not too much else going on besides an Icon SBC and a regular pack SBC. Now, today on Monday, we know Mondays are upgrade pack days. But the big question is, will EA release a hero pack? Will EA release an Icon pack or any sort of other gamble pack SBC that we could see bring some hype to the menus today? I want to take a look at fodder because people seem to be investing hoping or maybe there's some sort of leak that we just don't know about yet about some sort of gamble pack we'll take a look at fodder and i also want to take a look at the marketing's world cup stories cards because we had a pretty solid mini release yesterday right the SBC content was kind of mid but the laporte is pretty dope Giroud, nagatomo nice cards and ea dropped more swap tokens yesterday and we now have over 50 swap tokens available in the game so i'm going to talk about that because that means big things for what is upcoming in the swaps section or potentially with some more tokens coming throughout the rest of the week or maybe it'll be done we'll talk about that in this video as well so a lot to talk about today and of course fingers crossed for some w content but if you're excited for today hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about what kind of upgrade pack we could see today again this is a could type of scenario we just know that mondays are big time upgrade pack days all of the other upgrade packs that we've had since black friday are gone it's time for ea to drop something fresh and just give us something hype to try to go out and, and to gamble on right these are the packs that everybody is known to love and i think ea likes these packs too because they know that people like them and people drain their clubs and spend coins on these sorts of SBCs. Now, there's no new pack in the code, so it's not easy to point out, well, what SBC could we get today? Or obviously, it could be tomorrow, could be Wednesday, but at some point this week, starting from today, we hope to see an 89 max hero. We, we hope to see some sort of hero upgrade, some sort of icon upgrade along those lines. Now, these are packs we've already had, right? The 89 max hero we have already had. The 87 plus mid or uh, baby icon upgrade right we've had that as well and we've also had the 86 plus world cup or regular foot hero sbc now the reason why i'm taking a look at three these three specific sbcs are ea could very easily re-release one of those today on the game and that could be our big hype content that we get excited about now could there be a brand new pack that we haven't even seen or heard about or talked about yet yes but it would most likely be a player pick unless there's going to be some late pack code added today because every time there's a pack that is added into this game you see it in the code right nine times out of ten we see it in the code before it drops in the game player picks don't have to be added to the code sometimes they just drop you know in the flash but usually still with either of those two things happening we get a leak about what sort of SBC is coming today so watch very carefully on twitter today see if people are talking about leaks for a big time SBC, an icon or a hero upgrade if there were something to drop along those lines today, of course, you would expect SBC fodder to go up. And that's why I'm, I'm saying, hey, take a look at fodder right now, because as I look at the fodder market, some cards, specifically on the top tier, these 91 rated cards have started going up. Benzema was 50K yesterday, right? 50K over the weekend. Saturday, you can see his price down here around 50K. Yesterday on Sunday, 50K and something... The, flip, the switch flipped yesterday around content time. Benzema went from 51k up to 53.54. And you might be like, Nate, would the Puyol SBC do this to a 91 rated Benzema? I mean, there's a very, very slight chance that it would. But I mean, look at how downvoted the Puyol SBC is and the fact that only an 86 rated squad is the highest rated squad inside of the Puyol SBC. So I really doubt that there's a lot of true demand here for this card. I really think that what is happening here is there's some investing going on here. If you look at Benzema, if you look at Lewandowski, all these 91s are up a little bit. And your 88s have started to ever so slightly rise as well. And it kind of started, you know, all throughout the day yesterday, right? If we look at Saturday, 88s were down here like 25, right? 25K, 26K. Now a lot of them are starting to hit 27,000 coins, some of them 28. They're starting to go back up a little bit as I think it's people investing. I really do think people are investing and hoping like we are for a big pack today. Now, there's no guarantee that we're getting a big pack today, right? We're talking about it. We're getting excited about it and there's potential for it, but there's really no guarantee guys, right? It's EA until we have a leak, until we have a pack code added. 
it's really all up in the air. But today would just be the perfect day for them to flip the switch, like we've been saying, and to put a nice upgrade pack in the store and get us excited about the menus and get, get us excited about some sort of SBC on the game. So either of those three SBCs that we talked about, I think there's potential for it today. If a pack like that drops, what are you going to see? You're going to see that fodder, whatever's required, most likely go up because people are really, really, really jonesing for an SBC of that type on this game. I think the rest of the market too, you'd probably see some cards go down. Some of these World Cup stories cards, we'll talk about them for a, a flipping opportunity today into content. But I do believe that a lot of these cards would probably end up dropping in a little bit of panic selling and of course if the sbc like we've seen with some of the upgrade packs before would have more than one segment as a part of the squad there's tradable packs in return for those multiple segments like in most other sbcs so you would expect a little bit of supply hitting the market for the world cup stories cards as well so that's something i'd be a little bit carry, uh, careful with today if you're trying to trade with these cards there might be some panic selling Heading into 6 p.m. UK, the first or the couple hours into that time frame and even afterwards, because if people are expecting a big SBC today or at least hoping for it, they might sell some of those cards or uh, anticipating supply from a big SBC like we just kind of talked about. Tradable pack supply would definitely drop those cards a bit today on a Monday as well, especially if there is also some panic selling and some hype for a World Cup hero uh, or some sort of icon upgrade. Now, some people have been asking me, Nate, do you think they would drop a World Cup icon player pick or a pack? I know we have the one that's in the swaps section that is available through grinding swap tokens, but I, to me, it, I find it hard to believe that without releasing all of the different World Cup icons on this game, I find it hard to believe that EA would drop an SBC that would give out the ones that we currently have. Usually, nine times out of 10, we don't see a gamble pack like that. Like, I don't think we would see a World Cup icon upgrade specifically for the World Cup icons until we have every single one of them released in packs. And the way that it looks now, the guys like Dog Leash, Cannavaro, Gadensha that we haven't seen yet, probably getting those this coming Friday as a part of a Team 3 release for these icons. I guess. So that's the way that it looks right now. That's why I would stay watching the pack code, watch the tweets, watch Foot Sheriff tweeting out maybe some leaks today. That's what that would be some information that would be very crucial. And of course, would give us a hint on what EA might do today with upgrade packs. So of course, if it's a hero pack, watch for your selling and then panic selling on hero cards or, or the World Cup heroes, because you know, if people have the chance to pack somebody like a Marquisio from an upgrade pack and they already have Marquisio on the team, they might think, oh my goodness, I'm going to pack Marquisio. I'm going to sell him, which by the way, this guy is so rare, like 1.59 and there's two cards to 1.7, like crazy. So, you know, I think that World Cup heroes or icons would get painting sold a bit. And I think the market in total, if we got a big boy SBC like that today, that a lot of people would want to go out and do, even if it's not that great of value, people want something so bad right now, like a gamble SBC, I think they would overpay a bit to go and do it. So watch out for that today. That would cause some madness, but also some hype to the market at the same time time and then other content we could see today right also today be a great time to stock up on gold rares and specifically gold non-rares because the sbcs for upgrades that ea have been releasing recently have been needing mostly non-rares apart from like the 81 plus double upgrades that we had during black friday last couple uh last week i guess we've had a lot of the 80 plus upgrade we've had a lot of the um, I think it was a 75 or 78 plus player pick that required a lot of non rares. I would go through and stock your club on min bid today with weekend league rewards being paid out today. That's going to bring a bit of supply to the market. And I think it'd be a great opportunity like it normally is on a Monday. Stock your club with some non rares, whether it's an investment or whether it's you just want to get some upgrade packs done for cheaper. I would go ahead and get that done today as well. For the rest of Monday content, really not too sure what's out there. Maybe a player SBC, but we've had some consistent player SBCs over the weekend. We have a showdown SBC that is still live. So I don't expect too much on that front. The Ziyech and, of course, the Ferran Torres are still here for another day, 10 hours. So we might not get a player SBC today unless there is a leak. So that's Monday content. Just the hope of some sort of gamble pack, like an 80-plus upgrade or some sort of upgrade pack along those lines. Um, I think is almost a guarantee. That's like almost uh, the type of content that we see every single Monday. But the gamble pack, which we'd be very excited for today, that is what is up in the air. So we'll see if EA want to do the business today and change everything, as people like to say, on this game with some content like that. Now let's talk market a bit more because a lot of you guys have been asking me, Nate, if the content's going to stay quiet, what are these World Cup stories cards 
going to do and how can we trade with these guys right now in this game because their prices have kind of dropped off over the weekend and now they seem to be a bit low will they go lower personally if the content is as you know kind of quiet as it has been the past couple of days on this game these player prices will probably be their lowest today Yes, you heard me say it today. If the content for this next week is going to be bad, we will look back on today. It's probably the low point for these cards. But if the content today is good, that would mean these cards are probably going to end up hitting their lowest either today after content, maybe tomorrow, maybe still on Thursday. Again, guys, I think that these cards and the pack weight on these cards is I mean, I mean, it's pretty good. It seems to be a lot better than the Road to the World Cup items from last week's promo. And it's not like these cards are live either, right? Um, it's not like these cards are live and that people are packing them and wanting to hold on to them. And like we saw with the, the Path to Glory cards, those prices rose exponentially like right away because they were live and upgrading and stuff like that. That's not the case with these, which makes me think that I would want to wait until later on in the week to maybe look at buying them. I think you'd be able to make that dec decision today, though, uh, as we see content dropped, right? Gareth Bale's like 90,000 coins. For some of your most meta, some of your most popular cards that are in this World Cup Stories team, whether it's a low-tier card, whether it's a pretty popular card that's a bit more expensive, I think I would wait to see what content is today. And if content is absolutely abysmal today, maybe it's just like an 80-plus upgrade and nothing else, then if any of these cards are low heading into 6 p.m. today, I would say, hey, might not be a bad time to buy one if you want to put it in your team and then re-evaluate that situation as we get later on in the week. Uh, but we'll just have to see because there's a lot of cards in packs right now. And even if just if they drop like 78 plus player picks this week, I'm going to want to hit a bunch of 78 plus player picks because we've got some really cool cards in packs. I mean, these World Cup Stories cards, it's a W promo in my books. I'm, I'm starting to lean more and more towards the fact that this promo and the players that are in packs are very nice cards. The Giroud that we had yesterday, we can't not talk about this guy. 93,000 coins plus 43 pace. One of the most usable Giroud cards that we've ever had this early in the cycle. People are very excited about this guy. French links. He's been performing great in the World Cup as well, which adds even more hype to the card. We had a nice pace boost on Laporte as well. Unfortunately, just like all Prem center backs that seem that are dropping on this game right now, he is extinct at 400k, which I do believe... You know, if you look at the price of Koulibaly, who is no longer a live card, going up yesterday after they lost, which is really crazy to me. I don't, I do not um, think that this card is worth 388k. I also don't think that uh, Laporte is worth 400,000 coins. I don't think Van Dijk is worth 1.4 mil. Prem center backs are just all up in crazy prices right now at the moment. Um, but, you know, I would just say don't hold on to these guys for too long because I think their prices will end up dropping off. Hopefully, Laporte's price range can get updated pretty soon, and then he can go above that 400k range for you guys that bought him there. You're sniping him there, sell him for the profit, and then hopefully um, he'll come back down to a more reasonable range. But, I mean, the mini release that we had yesterday, I thought it was a dub, right? The Giroud, the Laporte, the Nagatomo is just like kind of a cool card, really good stats. Definitely hard to link, but pretty cool. And this whole team in general, there I think there's hype for these players. There's a lot of guys in here that people want to get in their teams, whether it's Danny Alves, whether it's a cheap card like Giroud, Rabio is hyped, Nagatomo, like we said. And then there's some really good top-tier cards in here too, like Rashford, like Bruno Fernandez, um, Van Dyke, of course. He's so hyped, he's 1.4 mil. So these cards are definitely going to be a watch later on in the week, in my opinion. But I would rather take the risk now and not buy the cards and wait until later on in the week. Unless we have like literally terrible content today and there's like nothing, then I would say there might be an opportunity to buy a couple of these and see them rise up a bit into the next couple of days and into the end of the week. We'll just have to see, right? There's a lot of ifs here, but we're just going to have to kind of play it by ear. We'll be talking about it, of course, all on stream and, and watching these card prices and everything like that. So we'll be closely monitoring those cards because I think a lot of these players get into people's teams and they want to try them out and have fun because they're pretty nice cards. Now, I'm trying to trade a little bit heading into today with some cheap stuff, guys. Really, I think the low tier, less than the hundred to two hundred thousand coins, is really the move on these rewards days. When people get rewards, they go out and they buy cards. I'm taking a look at all the Milan links because of Giroud. I have right now picked up, um, I picked up a couple Giroud's. I picked up this one at 90k. I got a couple of them at 90,000 coins. I he might go lower. Uh, there's going to be a lot of investing on these today too, which is something that I don't like. 
But also this Giroud card is so hyped for the massive pace boost that he got and for not ever being a usable card in FIFA. It's just a fun one. So I do think there's potential for Giroud to go up a little bit today. Maybe I bought too really. I don't know what the low point's going to be, but I felt like 90 is pretty good. He might go over 100K today. We'll just have to see. Again, if you're looking at this promo team and you're looking for a quick flip, I mean, well, first of all, if you're going to look for a quick flip, you don't have to look through this promo team. Just think about what people are going to go out and buy for their teams. Yesterday, I tweeted it out after talking about Teo Hernandez and guys like Vinny and Kyle Walker uh, in yesterday's video for cars that could potentially rise. Teo Hernandez is the uh, case in point number one car that did so well yesterday. I bought Teo's at 23K, a couple at 22 he exploded to 28, 29, sold him here, uh, and he's been around like 26K since then. So this might be another buy opportunity tonight. If you get this at like 24 or 25K during rewards, he might go up to about 30 with um, the AC Milan links being hyped. But again, Ronaldo is pretty low right now. Could Giroud be hurting his price? Absolutely. If you take a look at the graph, you see Ronaldo's been falling since content dropped yesterday, and he was 88K in the morning, and now he's 82 um, and then you take a look at some of your other guys like Kyle Walker, maybe Vinny Jr. Some of their prices have been moving a decent, uh, moving around a decent amount too. So you saw these nice spikes yesterday with squad battle rewards. I think there'll be some nice movements upward today on the market, but I like the low tier stuff. I really do. I like the low tier stuff the best. I think it has the biggest return on your investment and biggest potential for profit as people go out and maybe pack a card from rewards and go and try it out. So these World Cup Stories cards are not cards that I want to invest in and hold on to for a long period of time. But the way that I look at it, uh, we're just going to have to see what the content is today and go from there. And then, of course, if you want to try to trade with them into the daytime today, there might be opportunities to quick flip these cards just in a short term time frame, like I'm trying to do with the Giroux and other cards, maybe like Danny Alves, Rabio with the France and Syria links with that. So definitely some hype there, but we're going to keep a close eye on the market to see where things go um, in terms of those World Cup Stories cards. I want to talk fodder just again really quick for a second. I know I talked over the weekend about investing in fodder. If you're like, Nate, is there still opportunities to invest? The answer to that is yes. 84s, I still think in the low 2Ks are a W. 85s in the low 7K range. I know that 85s are not as low as they were, you know, 6.6K. I don't think these guys are going to get down to 6.6K unless we have zero content today and throughout the rest of the week. I think that 85s, if you can get low 7s, is a pretty good buy. Again, you buy fodder and you hold it until it goes up, until EA put, put out some SBCs that require it. And I think that for the 83s, the 84s, the 85s, the 86s, is kind of the lower tier end of the market. I like it a lot. Uh, the most there, maybe 85s are the most and 84s. But if EA were to release like the Max 89 World Cup icon upgrade, you remember that time, last time that released, that was an 88 rated requirement in the squad. It was like an 86 squad with, I think, two or three 88 pluses. And that's what made 88s go to like crazy, crazy high prices. So... If that happens today, then you, of course, would want to stock some high-rated fodder as well. But that's the fodder that we talked about that is already starting to go up. So just be careful there. But I think that other areas of the fodder market are still investable, still buyable, and you can wait for those to rise in the coming days. Now, last thing I want to talk about in this video is swaps. Because yesterday, EA confirmed for us that uh, by dropping 12 tokens in the last two days... Uh, they have now confirmed that we are going to be over 50 total tokens because they dropped four tokens through squad battles once again, and then they dropped eight tokens through the friendlies. This takes us currently, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys a tracker and link it down below. We are on 52 tokens. Yes, 52 tokens. Of course, a couple of those are from the store, and one of those is free as well. They gave us a free one at the beginning, and then two of those are from the store. But this link, I'm going to put this link down below in the description so you can check on it and see. We are at 52 tokens so far, uh, and this is where they are all at. Of course, they dropped the swaps objectives and the uh, squad battle slash arrival ones. But this is where our token's at right now, and this confirms that we are going to have at least... 50 tokens. We were saying before that it was between 50 or the, or 60. There's 60 that were in concepts. Now it is confirmed that we will have uh, over 50. Will we have 60? I don't know. I really don't know if we're going to get all 60 because where, and, and this is where I'm thinking here, where is EA going to drop the rest of the tokens to get us to 60? In the store? Are they going to do more objectives? I feel like this is the end of the objective swaps tokens because we had four weeks with eight tokens through uh, friendlies and then of course we had 
four tokens every week and only three tokens the first week through the world cups uh showcase right so i'm really not sure where our tokens are going to come from after this but we are over 50 tokens now we are at 52 so that is nice if you've been grinding for Vieira and stuff like that. You have a couple extra tokens in there to maybe that you don't have to go and grind all of the games for. Because let's be honest, it's tough out here to grind all of these golden goal games. It's it's work. It's kind of sweaty. And I think that it, it is getting people a lot of games in. And I know it's accomplishing EA's job of what they want to show that a lot of people are playing their game during the World Cup. This is very smart by them, by the, by the way, because watch, in two, three months' time, they're going to release an earnings report that says, man, we had the best engagement numbers ever during the World Cup. Well, yeah, it's because you were letting people play 60 games of golden goal swaps a day to get these swap tokens, uh, and that's going to obviously inflate the numbers. So they're being smart with it, and uh, I think we're seeing right through them, of course, a little bit, maybe just a little bit. They won't admit it, but just a little bit um and uh i mean regardless it's good content regardless they gave us some swap tokens and we take that and now we've got most if not just about all of the tokens that we need to go and finish our swaps grind and there's still 17 days left before these go away right is it 17 it 30 days 30 days left before these go away and i think it's 17 days until the objectives expire so it is nice to have all those tokens out there personally i am getting closer and closer to another 84 times 20 which if you guys have 84 times 20s i would say it's not going to get any better this week uh than it is right now to open those right because we've got the mini release that is now in packs we've got the uh promo cards now actually funny enough ea messed up you see that here it says an additional four world cup story player items have been added to foot 23 and then it only shows us laporte nagatomo and Giroud. i honestly think they were supposed to drop a jaka card it was leaked earlier in the week uh and it never dropped i think we were actually supposed to get a granite jaka world cup stories i don't know where that card is i don't know if something fell through in the last minute or if ea just plain flat out messed up but uh sorry arsenal fans because that looks like it's not in the game so maybe just maybe we'll see ea tweet about that today and maybe those beasts some more compensation on the horizon or, or something uh, like that. We'll just have to see. But we're going to keep a close eye on the market today. I'm going to keep watching this Giroud card because, guys, I'm telling you, he is super-duper-duper duper hyped heading into today. On Monday, people are going to want to try him out. I want to try him out, you know, with the stats that he has. But also, he's very supplied, and a lot of people are going to invest. So it's all about timing with this sorts of stuff uh, on this game. And we are getting very close to path to glory upgrades happening once again i believe uh i think it's either i think it's wednesday i think it's wednesday the 7th we are going to be getting our next set of ptg upgrades um you did see some of the england cards drop off a bit after the game after england won the game yesterday it's because they were expected to right kyle walker was like 880 890 uh he went all the way down to 780 if you if you snagged the kyle walker below 800k i think that was a pretty good buy uh, because I think this card is probably going to get back up into the high 800s. Even though they're playing France in their next game, that's going to be a matchup that everybody is super duper excited for. This guy is a super rare card and it's still live and upgrades are coming this week for the teams that are winning in this first knockout game. So, you know, your, your Netherlands guys, your England guys, your France guys, your Argentinians, they're going to get an upgrade here in the next couple days. And uh, yeah, that's why their cards are still insane, insane uh, up there in price there's more games of course happening today so we'll have to keep a close eye out for the games happening today on monday japan croatia brazil south korea so keep keep a close eye out for those there'll be more fluctuations on the market today and hopefully speaking of today ea sports drop us a banger of a day so stock your clubs get ready and cross your fingers for ea to drop something special today on this game so if you're excited for today hit the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions about the market about anything going on with fifa in general at the moment and if you're new around here subscribe so you get the daily videos right to your inbox but thank you for watching today lads i love you i'll see you today on the stream it's been nate's account i'll catch you guys later peace out